Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We are playing some more Meek to Peak. Officially. Rome Marriage from Corson is a big no dog. Not looking to be friends with you, sir. Okay, we are collecting stealing the trade income from most of our subject derps because they don't deserve it. Because they're bad. Um And we are probably going to be either attacking the uh, the Mamluks or Najd or one of our allies here in a sec. Just wanted to get our diplomat back so we could take a look at the war deck options. So Biapas, Akilu doesn't defend, Transilciana doesn't defend, our ally does. We do have favors with him, so I could like call him into another war and then betray him after that. I don't think it'd be hard to beat our ally, but it would be better if he like ran interference or something first. We could call him in on the Mamlux, actually. Akinlu won't defend. Jared won't defend. Jared is way over there. Seer defends. Ajam defends. Let's call him in on this and have him take care of the war with Ajam. That sounds really good, actually. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to bring the army down. Um, I like it. Looks reasonable. I'd still like to have our army a little bit closer to the Mamluks before we begin, though. The Mamluks are still hurting economically. They did just turn on one of their forts, but they're not turning on the fort in Damascus. So, that's a good sign. We could take admin tech, but we need to take this final idea. Perfect. That's what I was waiting for, right? I wanted to get the last couple of ideas. Possible advisors plus one, national, tax mod uh, national manpower modifier plus 15. Uh, we have access to some more policies. Missionary, missionary strength. Instruction time minus 25%. We're currently running development costs, fort maintenance. We could run a policy to just give us monthly piety. Wow, monthly piety of 0.5%. That's actually quite fast. The so six, six piety or, uh, six legalism or mysticism per, per year. That lets you move towards what you want very quickly. Hetero Corgi, thank you for your sub, man. I think we have the economy to support some more artillery now. Let's go ahead and get a couple more trained. Some Pedreros. We're gonna go up to four, I guess. That's gonna give us enough that we can do barrages if we need to. Although we are behind Tom and Miltech right now. And the Mamluks do have it. So I'd prefer to avoid that. So I need to take Constantinople for a redeemed province. In theory, we're not allied to the Ottomans, so... We are running a lot of edicts everywhere right now. Manpower is kind of a concern, but I think we actually want to just turn all the edicts off, see where we're at. We're so ready to attack the, uh, the Mamluks. I think we need to do it right now. Okay, so we're going to declare cleansing the heresy, and we're just going to do it. Ready, set, go. We'll stay focused on winning this. Sell our subjects to be... I guess defensive is the, mace, the the most logical one. The ones that are actually in the war. Only two of them, Gillen and Syria. I just don't want them to get stack wiped since we're using this cast of Spelly. Corson just hired an army from Biapas. That's great. Uh, we should probably attack him since he doesn't have an army now. <laughs> Neat. Walpold Fort. Uh, we could try to run down Damascus, but it doesn't need to happen. I've got some more artillery back here anyway that I'm, I'm waiting on. I want to get them all grouped up. Kind of low on generals right now. We still have 42% combat ability. Looks like our train horsemanship expired. Not reconquest for Syria? No, I don't think so. Uh, aggressive expansion is not a concern. I'd rather have the extra war score from battles. 
It's just way, way, way easier to get to enough war score that the AI will bow out when you have the religious CB. Ajam has hired an army from Afghanistan? Okay. We're currently sitting at 100 piety. 16 day siege sticks. And we don't have enough control of the node to turn on the inland routes or anything. But with that level of control... I don't think this war is going to take very long. Oh, come on. Come on. As soon as I say that, huh? Then, then we get discovered? Of course. But of course. Troop count? Let's see. We've got 38,000 versus their 68,000. Um, we've got 40,000... Cavalry, though, versus their 20. So we've got double the cav count. About 30,000 less infantry. We're down by about 10,000 for frontline troops. We also have less artillery. But I think that our army is just generally stronger. Although he does have that tech advantage. We almost have the last idea. Okay, I've got four artillery here with two siege pit bleeder. We've got plenty of cav. Um, did we call in Corson? Yeah, Corson's basically handling Ajam for us. I'm just trying to siege out like that province, and then I'm gonna focus all my attention on the Mamluks. Corson's job is is literally just to see. Shervin is necessary to protect this region right now. Corson's job is to distract and deal with Ajam while we focus down forts and junk over here. Okay, there's our final mill group idea. Another land leader shock plus one, 7.5% cav combat ability. We also get liberty desire and subjects minus 10, which means we might be able to divert from literally everyone now. And I'm going to do that because I don't care if they hate me. And then, policy-wise, do we want to pay military points while we are behind time on military tech to save Money. I honestly don't think we need mill tech to win this war. And this is not just 15%. This is a lot. It's going to take our price from minus 33 to minus 48. And this is the vast majority of our economy, like our military expense. In fact, the thing we spend the most money on out of everything we have is our army size. So I think we do run calf cost. We could actually turn off yearly professionalism. For now. Yeah, let's do that actually. That is a three star general. 4421 6432. He's got a 64 general here. That's a lot of dudes. Um I'd rather not fight that yet. I want to get control of this fort. That way we have him stuck behind enemy lines if he goes goes all the way to uh to here. He does not want to let me do this, does he? Bum 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 29th. We can be gone by the 22nd of May. It's obviously not fast enough. I did scorch that province as well, that's why I can't go there faster. Just move into Terabolus, the defensive terrain. I need another general, but I don't want to actually pay for him yet. <laughs> I 
I guess we're going to roll our ruler into a guy. That's not very good. There we go. Damascus. Here's Syria. You can pay for it. These guys are heading into Sueda. Let's go pick off that army. Aragon just inherited Castile. That should be a stack wipe. And of course, of course, I just lost my general. We're fighting a leaderless army here with our ruler. I have literally no generals now, except for our ruler. Which doesn't feel very good, man. I guess maybe, do we take the 15% Cav Combat ability, or do we take a free general? Ah! No, I think we need the Cav Combat ability. I just want that on all the time. I don't care if he takes Damascus back, we can get it back pretty quickly ourselves. Let's see. He does not have a maxed out spy network against us. This army is really struggling to get its morale back up. God, dude, he's rolling so well. Um, Our ruler just picked up a fantastic trait. Estate Noble Click. We already have the general from them. I can't roll a general from, from them for quite a while. I think we just need to voluntarily fall further behind on Miltech. It's only going to cost 327 military points right now to get the next tech because of all of our stacked modifiers. So I'd really like to take mil tech and get caught up, but not having anyone except for our current ruler as a general is just so, so bad. Hey, we get land reclamation minus 10% dev cost for a while. Sweet. That is a crazily strong army. And is that, is that... Jesus, do you have, like, general staff ideas? How are your generals so freaking good without having general staff? He has three generals that are, like, nuts. All right, who shall lead? <laughs> JF, the one four, he's not good enough. He's a one four, I guess, but, oh geez, JF. That was the only general I get to roll right now. Well, you better like roll nines in combat at least. Five in shock, okay. Ugh, I have a five fire advantage. JF, dude. 
We just lost 17,000 troops. That was a bad fight. This, uh, this tech advantage is kind of a bigger deal than I thought, and also losing our only good general to suddenly have to fight three really good generals is kind of a concern. What mill advisor do I have? Morale of armies right now. We are focused on dip and we can change it now. Since we are generating at the moment pretty bad military points and if we don't kill this baby, we're definitely generating bad mill points. I think focusing mill makes sense. Of course, we still have to catch up on admin, um, but we definitely don't need to be focused dip right now. What's my ally doing? Probably sucking. I don't know. He's uh, slowly working down a job, kind of. This guy's going to arrive in Ordu Bad on the 3rd. We'll be there on the 5th. I think we need to just go around and then try to pick these armies off. Sir's van already fell. Maybe go over force limit? Um, well, we're going to need to do something to contest that crazy general that they have. I think we need to slacken standards again. We're definitely running manpower edict everywhere right now. Hate losing prosperity. Hate it. Also, really not a fan of having to turn the edict down in every single province, but I can't seem to. I can't make like an event that turns it on for everyone, like in every province or something. Should be a stack wipe before he can reinforce, followed by another stack wipe, I hope. We do have insufficient support. That was very close. Still should be a stack wipe. Damn, Mamluks keep on catching me. I swear, the AI is so, so much better at catching people uh, with espionage than players can be. Ours wants to rent us his 4-2 comp stack? Uh, I mean, we make money, so sure. I think, in general, if you're making money, you should just always accept contracts when they're offered. Joe's Desert Shithole is now being sieged. That's not ideal. There goes our prosperity. I do have some artillery. Need to get Schur's van unseaged. Hard fight's a good fight. Mammoks are... Being impressive, I gotta say. They're they're doing a good job. We can switch to defensiveness in May, right now, which we definitely need to do. In both these states. If you don't do it, if you're not very proactive with it, then you'll lose to the AI, because they are very diligent right now. Move further towards legalism when we're already at max legalism, or move towards mysticism. Um, we are going to take tech soon, so I don't want to lose any legalism at all. Do we roll another JF rather than try to take tech? A 1 4 is so bad. We're, we currently roll 7 to 16 with 3 guaranteed pips, so 10 to 19. JF only has 5 in combat. I think we need. We need another general. Who shall lead? Oh, sure. Troyal! 50. JF. Well, more siege pips are. Good, I guess.
That is a lot of Mamluks. Didn't we, uh, didn't we, like, put him deeply into debt? Dude, Mamluks, how, how, how are you fielding all these troops? You're supposed to be in debt. He's got five loans. Okay. I mean, we've got him beat on income, but uh, he's just, he's just doing things. We've got a 5442 advancing on the 24th of August into a mountain province, not behind a river. I think we have to scorch our own land just to try to make him take these bad fights. Okay, so now he's not arriving until the 9th of September. So we have time. One more JF. Come on, JF. Two five. All right, the best yet. Would be great if we could have gotten a few extra troops there instead of just that one. That one stack to have committed, but. Turns out outright stack whips are pretty good. Okay, these provinces are being returned. We need to get onto Joe's desert S hole. These artillery should be safe behind enemy uh, behind these lines. Penn Island does a good job. Um, I'd like to get these smaller stacks dealt with also though. Okay, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I need to take a short break here. Otherwise, stick around on Twitch and I'll see you again in just a moment. Thanks for watching as always. See you soon.